In this episode, we return to the Forest of Hope with the goal to recover all three remaining ship parts in just one day. Yo, hello everyone! Welcome back to Pronto Play and day 6 of our Let's Play Pikmin series on the Nintendo Switch. In the last episode, we recovered the second part of the Impact Site, which completes the first area of this game. And today we actually aim to complete the Forest of Hope as well, which means we have to gather and secure three additional ship parts so that we don't have to return here. And while I do remember some of the locations of the last remaining parts, I am actually curious whether I can pull this off, but let's see. So I have a general idea on how I want to play this day and the first thing that I want to do is actually gather a hundred blue Pikmin because the first thing that we have to do is actually pull down a wall that is inside water. Oh and we're actually getting very lucky with the yellow nectar. So maybe let's see on the other side. And while this could feel like a little bit of a time loss to hunt this yellow nectar, I think it will pay out in the end, since all the pigment will be much faster, much stronger. Now we barely have any leaf pigment left, and I really like this site. Alright, let's go to this wall over here that blocked us completely on our last day that we spent here. Because actually we can see that right over there is one of the spaceship parts that we need. Then another one is in this area here where we got blocked off last time by this paper bag that can only be pushed from the other side but we have to go through water to access it right over here it was. Um, we have to go through the water in order to access the other side. And this one here is blocked by a bridge that has to be built by going through the water as well. So this is why we couldn't finish this area in the last episode, because we didn't have any blue pigments on our hands. And I think over there is also a big wall. But I want to go with a different approach rather than just having the pigment work on it. But that is actually already the first task for the blue pigment done. Now I actually want to go over here and I have the feeling that we get greeted by some bugs very soon. Yes, there they are. So let's get rid of them really quick. Alright. More. Now let's not wake the big guy up. Because there's actually no point in fighting him. But I rather just want to have this little bag here out of the way. Damn, that is an annoying sound. <laughs> and I'm thinking about whether or not we go and get the... Are you okay? I'm thinking about whether or not we go get the red pigment for the fight, because we can see that the other part is right over here. And if I remember correctly, we have to get rid of some kind of big animal, but I think we just go, whoops, but I think we just go with the blue ones on our hands and I try to gather them up as much as possible so they actually make this turn here and there we have it. Now this is actually a very annoying little guy. Oh, you 
can you? Yeah. Quite a bit costly fight. But on the other hand... Oh, it's not gone. Aim for the head. Aim for the head. Okay, we got him. Oh, we lost 12. Quite unfortunate. More than I would have liked. But here we have the Geiger counter. Now let's see... Where do you guys want to go? No. Alright, while these guys carry on the Geiger counter... Oh, they go down here anyways, which is very great. So we, while they get this one back to the ship, can deal with this little bridge over here. And since we have many more blue Pikmin in our party, this one will be gone very soon, hopefully. Okay, did I miss anybody? There's one little fella still stuck over here. Go ahead. Oh yeah, I see. This is what I mentioned, I think, when we built this bridge. These little fellas here really like to destroy our little bridges that we built. So while the Pikmin are all busy carrying or building bridges, let's get rid of them ourselves really quick. Since we have to wait for them anyways. And this Geiger counter now brings up our total recovered parts to 9 and just 3 more before we have additional range. And I do have to be careful not to... Not to die or to get my health back to zero because if I do lose all my health then the day will end automatically and this would be a huge waste of time in my opinion. But we got rid of all the little pesky bugs here. We have to rebuild a little bit of the bridge but it is what it is. And while we are waiting for the other Pikmin to build the bridge let's get the rest of the party And also, get our hands on some yellow ones. Now clear the path really quick. Nope, you don't go carry, you go build. And you come help. Alright, this should be enough. You can actually go. I will meet you at the ship. <laughs> Alright, we are almost at noon and we are on our way to secure the second ship part. Which is the Sagittarius and it's a gift of our son apparently. So let's get the Pikmin to work again. Oh, this one fell off. Okay, that's fine. Let's just make sure that the yellow ones don't fall into the water. And everybody's with us again. Great. Oh. Now I want to avoid the fight with the... I don't know what... Since we lost just a couple of blue Pikmin, let's actually recover some of them. And Sagittarius is back in place. So now we have one third of the ship parts recovered and just two more will increase the capabilities of our ship. So you come with me. 
I usually just want the yellow ones. And we will need these stone bombs here, actually. I don't know if that was everything. But with this little stone bomb battalion, we will actually get rid of the of the darker wall over there in no time rather than having to tear it down. And now we get rid of the blue ones since they have done all that was necessary for today. And we get the stronger red ones since we have another quite big fight ahead of us. And we're actually very good in time, so I think we can secure the last ship part of this area just in time. So now let's get the army actually up here. And since there's another grass piece, <laughs> they have something to do while we actually go around and wait for them. Now just to avoid any circumstances or any casualties, I wanted to say, let's go with the bombs on the other side. And we have to go over here. And let's get the bombs. Alright. Oh, it's actually enough. Nice. I thought we don't have enough bombs with us. So actually now to be on the safe side again. I actually want to have the stone bomb, the last one remaining, so that we don't wipe off our complete army by accident. And this guy here is actually quite dangerous when he blows his stone rocks, but when he inhales you can block his nostril, let's say, with the Pikmin, and then he reveals his vulnerable spot on the backside, just as so. We just beat this guy in one go, actually, very nice. So now the path is clear for our last trip part on this area, the radiation canopy. So let's get to work immediately. And actually I hope the path for these guys here is clear, but I think we dealt with everything on the way. Nobody gets left behind. We take this, just because why not. Alright, now let's get rid of the yellow ones again, so that we also don't have the bomb in our party anymore. I wanted to... no, <laughs> you don't need this one. I wanted to fill up the party again so that we don't have to pluck any seeds or sprouts since we won't... oh, wrong. Wrong direction. Anyways, the goal of the day is met. We recovered our radiation canopy, which is actually the windshield for our cockpit, so to say. And that brings the total number of parts to 11, and we just need one more in order to increase the capabilities of our ship. So, now how many yellows do we have in our party? Two, they can go. And that's basically everything for the day. So let me actually just 
gather some more some more seeds for the Pikmin since we have the day and I will actually go and save this little fella over here so that he doesn't get left behind but I think I will fast forward to this since yeah it's not the most it's not the most entertaining gameplay And that is day six completed. So let's see the summary for the day. We secured three ship parts, which gives us 11 in just six days collected. And that also means that we have completed the Forest of Hope. So now we actually can focus on the forest naval since this is the only accessible area where we have to secure ship parts right now and we also sprouted some additional pigment for the day we actually have 600 now almost i think let's see 313 410 510 almost 600 in total and we actually left one behind i didn't know where that happened I thought I collected everybody but yeah I'm sorry but at least we keep this number very low and that means that we now have completed the impact site as well as the forest of hope so in the next day we will deal with the forest naval and hopefully secure many many more ship parts but that's going to be it for today Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the episode, if you did, feel free to like, subscribe and share your feedback in the comments or on Instagram. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next day.